are you disappointed that the Biden administration chose not to take direct action against the crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman himself? Uh, you know, first of all, I think the report itself is pretty remarkable in saying in no uncertain terms that the crown prince of Saudi Arabia uh, ordered the capture or killing of an American resident and journalist that essentially the crown prince has blood on his hands. Uh, I would like to see the administration go beyond what it has announced in terms of repercussions to make sure that there are repercussions directly to the crown prince. Uh, to me, it's, it's uh, discordant to say the least that you go after those who follow the orders to kill someone, but not the person who gave the orders. Uh, and I think there are ways to do it. Uh, I think the crown prince should be shunned by the president. I don't think he should be invited to the United States. I don't think the president should meet with them or speak with them. Uh, and I think there are ways to go after assets controlled by the crown prince that may have played a role in this uh, capture or kill operation. So I'd like to see them do more. I think that would be consistent uh, with our champion of human rights and we could do so without uh, bringing about a complete rupture of the relationship between the United States uh, and Saudi Arabia.